Hey guys, Charlie here, and today I'm going to show you how to make helium balloons last longer. And yeah, I just sucked in helium. <laughs> I love sucking helium. Well, you can see I have some balloons over there, and these have high float in them. Yeah, high float is this thing where you pump it into the balloons, and it makes them float a lot longer. So if you have any experience with parties, um, you'll know that most most latex balloons are on the floor the next day. Now over there I have a mylar balloon. This I don't have high floating because mylar balloons last a long time. But yeah, um, these and this I put high float in two days ago and they're still up and floating really well. So let me go ahead and show you how to use it. This balloon was on the floor the next day without using high float. Look at that. Not a chance. But, so, this is what the high float bottle looks like. You can't really find it anywhere. You need to buy it off the internet. But, basically, there's... it tell, there, The instruction guide tells you how much to put in for each. So, if it's like a 9-inch balloon, half a pump, 12-inch balloon, like one full pump, like that, like that. Now, what you want to do is stretch the balloon over the nozzle like that and so that you don't want any in the neck of the balloon so just make sure that it's like completely covered so we're you refer, refer to how much high float to put in now i found that it doesn't float very well if you use too much so be really careful so there and then take it off pinch the neck and rub it inside the balloon to give Make sure you give it a really nice coating. Make sure the whole thing is covered. Like that. So yeah, it's going to take some exper it's you're it, you're going to need to experiment before you find how much high flow to use because I found that that wasn't really accurate in the in the guide. So now we have to inflate our balloon with helium. I'm using the balloon time helium tank, but you can go to like Party City or D&W and they'll inflate your balloons. But yeah, you can buy these helium tanks pretty much everywhere. So, I'm just going to go ahead and stretch the balloon out. Uh, I don't know why I'm not able to do this very well, but just like, yeah. These are really easy to use. So now, just push down and inflate the balloon. Now, it's really important that you don't underinflate. Tie it off. Because if you underinflate, then the high float's going to be too heavy and it won't float. And there, that floated right away. So yeah, I might have used a little too much since it's not floating like perfectly, but I might. I think I underinflated a little bit. But yeah, you kind of see how that works, and it works really well. Now. You don't suck the helium out of those balloons because who knows what the high float does to it. But yeah, these will inflate it for a lot more time. That They'll stay up for a lot more time. So once again, here's the bottle. So hey guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make balloons last longer. These, I just like them. But yeah guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.